Hello ladies and gentlemen, my name is Stealthang and today I'm going to be bringing you guys an Audacity tutorial on how to get the best audio quality for your commentaries or podcasts. And right now I'm not uh, aware if um, this does help with instruments at all, but if you guys, if a few of you do know how to play an instrument, uh, if you could test this out and let us know in the comment section below. Uh, to see your results, uh, let us know. But I do know for 100% a 100% fact that this definitely does help a commentaries or a podcast. So, anyways, guys, let's go ahead and get started, and we're gonna go ahead and drop into Audacity right now. So, the first thing you we're gonna go ahead and do, or I'm gonna let you know, is that this uh, this version of, of Audacity is Audacity 2.0. And now, if you want to go ahead and check the details right here, I will also leave a link to the download link in the description below. Now, the first thing we're going to go ahead and do is test our audio output. So this is what we're going to be hearing. So we have our headphones right here, and then this is my laptop's speakers. So right now, I'm going to set it to my headphones, and then we're going to go ahead and choose our microphone. So right now, I have the Blue Yeti microphone set right here. And the microphone array, this is from my, I believe, my webcam. I'm pretty sure it's from the laptop's webcam. But you want to go ahead and set your microphone over there. And I, if you're going to be doing commentaries or recording your voice or singing or, I know, instruments, that this does help. Uh, I'd recommend getting the Blue Yeti or um, the Blue Snowball. But be sure to do your own research so you can uh, get the microphone that suits you better. And then you want to go ahead and choose two stereo input channel right here. Make sure to do that. You don't want to go ahead and record mono because it's going to sound weird. So now, if you want to make sure that your Blue Yeti or your microphone does show up, you want to go ahead and go back to your playback devices. Right click and then click playback devices. You can also set your headphones or your whatever audio you're going to be listening to in your audio recording uh, to the default device and then recording. So right now, my Blue Yeti microphone is right here. And if I wanted to set my microphone array, which is from the webcam, I'd have to I'd click set as default device. And this is what the laptop, this is what um, Audacity will be hearing. This is if you have any problems. But if you guys do have solutions to other people's problems, please let them know and let others aware of um, their problems in the comment section below. So we're clicking OK. And next, we're going to go ahead and move to the project rate hertz and the project rate settings. So by default, Audacity is going to be at 44,100. And this is CD quality right here, guys. You want to go ahead and make sure you click 48,000. This is DVD quality, just to best get the best quality out of your recording. And then 96,000 um, and above is pretty much like studio quality. So I really wouldn't recommend it if you don't have like a uh, lap uh, not laptop a really good microphone um, lap like some microphones will go ahead and show you how high their uh, project rate settings can go so like the blue yeti can go up to 48,000 but I have recorded 192,000 once and it did sound good but it did peak at times so right if, after that if you want to go ahead and make sure that these settings are always saved and when you upload audacity you don't have to go ahead and click uh, oh, 48,000 all over again. Go to edit preferences and you want to go ahead and select quality, select what you want. And you can see even select other. See, you can put what you want. You can put 192,000 if you want. You click 48,000 hertz and then you want to go ahead and select 32 bit float and then click OK. So now this is where the meat and potatoes come through. So, guys, we're, I'm going to go ahead and record a little test. And let's do it right now. Spec, spec, spectacles, ice, ice, icicles, test, 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 one, two. So now after you've gone ahead and done that, before I, I forgot to mention, is that you want to go ahead and leave a two second, maybe one second or two second gap of silence, sometimes three, but I'd recommend one to two of silence over here to get any background noise you hear from like your room or wherever you are and so this will collect fan noise or maybe even tapping noises just any pretty much any background noise and so you want to go ahead and select this space right here and you want to go ahead and click effect and then noise removal after you click noise removal you click get noise profile select all you can hit control a or just click this blank space over here and then hit effect noise removal and make sure to copy these settings down over here, 24, 
for a noise reduction, zero for sensitivity, frequency 150, and attack and delay time 0.15. And make sure to hit noise remove, not isolate. Click OK. And so now if you noticed, some of this, some of it went down. Right here is where I breathe. So I can go ahead and just select it and delete it. And so uh, some of the little pops over here are gone. Now, you, I recommend only doing this once. Don't do it multiple times or else your audio is going to sound like an echo. So now I'm, I am going to go ahead and leave all these details in the description below. But I will be doing a future tutorial on how to do apply change so you don't have to go ahead and do this one by one. So now the next step you're going to be going ahead is make sure to select this again. You're going to go ahead effect compressor. And you want to go ahead and uh, copy down all these settings right here. So thresholds negative 16 decibels. Noise, noise floor, negative 40 decibels, ratio 2 to 1, attack time 0.2 seconds, decay time 1.0 seconds, and make sure to select make up gain for 0 decibels after compressing, and click OK. After you're done with that, you want to go ahead and hit effect, equalization, and we want bass boost and treble boost just to get some nice oomph, I guess, in our voice. So hit bass boost right here, click OK, and then effect equalization and then you want to go back to treble boost instead after right after that click OK and then next you're gonna go ahead and you're gonna go back to effect normalize and hit uh, negative one decibels and make sure these two slots over here are checked right here click OK and then we're gonna go to effect hard limiter and we're gonna set the decibel limit to negative four and leave wet level at one and then leave residue level at zero and so next we're going to go click OK and then we're going to go ahead and hit effect again, go back to normalize, leave, ev leave everything the same and click OK. So now after that, our audio is not nice and set. So I'm going to go ahead and hit two seconds right here. I could go ahead and delete it, but I just want to leave it for now. And then we're going to go ahead and play it for you guys. Spec, spec, spectacles, ice, ice, icicles. Test, 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 one, two. So that, that sounded amazing. So what I should have done was, um, hold on, let me see what I can do. I'm going to see if this works. I'm going to go ahead. We're going to do pretty much control Z everything. And yeah, hold on, control Y. And then let me see, control V. There we go. Okay. So now which one's the edited audio? Okay, so... Uh, looks like it's this one, this one right here. So this one's the edited audio while this over here at the top is the audio from before. So let's go ahead and listen to this one. This is the audio when we started out. Spec, spec, spectacles, ice, ice, icicles, test, 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 one, two. So as you guys just heard, that did not sound that great. But now let's go ahead and listen to the edited audio. Spec, spec, spectacles, ice, ice, icicles, test, 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 one, two. So as you can tell, there's a huge difference right there. So let's go ahead and get rid of the unedited audio. And so now the next thing you're going to go ahead and do is you want to hit file and you want to hit export. Now you want to go ahead and hit WAV, sign 16-bit PCM, click this over here. And if you're, I don't know, I don't really deal with MP3 files that often, but I always choose WAV if I'm doing any voice recordings. So you click that, and then you want to go ahead and name your tutorial. Um, actually, I'm going to name it tutorial uh, for the sake of the tutorial. And then I'm going to click save, choose a location, and then save. I even did a test uh, before hit save and then this is just for the details for the audio's details so you can pretty much put anything here but i just leave it blank because it's not necessary then you click ok so that is pretty much it you guys that is a um, basic in-depth tutorial for the best settings for 2017's audacity so now guys what i am going to let you guys know is that so that you don't have to do this one by one i will be doing a future tutorial on how to apply change so that it can just be two maybe two or three steps without having to go through every single thing so guys that is pretty much it if you guys do have any problems let me know in the uh, comment section below and i will do my best to go ahead and help you out and if you guys do see anybody else who has any problems please be sure to help them out if i don't uh 
if I am not able to help you out, but also ask Grandmaster Google because he does have um, at least 80% of the answers most of the time. So that's pretty much it, guys. So I'll catch you guys on the next tutorial. So until next time, stealth out.